without a doubt. Valley of the Moons Trail is one of my favorite trails in San Diego County, and a return trip has been long overdue. So in this episode of Trail Recon, we met up with some of our closest Wheeland buddies near the California and Mexico border, gave our rigs a once over, had a quick driver's meeting, and got ready for what would be an amazing day of wheeling. After a short drive along the border fence, you begin your climb up the mountain. There are some amazing views along the way, but don't take your eye off the trail for too long because there are plenty of obstacles on the way up that will require your attention. High clearance, a great set of tires, and good wheel placement are essential on the way up. First of several challenging gatekeepers on this trail is a steep rock climb that is pretty narrow and will get one or maybe even two tires up in the air. Having lockers in this section makes for easy work of it. The next fun obstacle on the trail is this steep granite waterfall. Now there is a detour where you can go all the way around it to the left, but what fun would that be? If you're going to tackle it and you want to go hard, stay to the right of the waterfall. If you want to kind of take it easy, go on to the left side. It seemed to be a little smooth. for the first half of the trail. You're pretty much along the border the whole way and yep, that's the border fence and not looking so good and there's plenty of holes in there and footprints going in both directions. Down the trail a little bit further is a nice little turnoff where you can hop on a granite slab and choose a couple lines and flex out if you want to. It's a nice little offshoot on the dirt path and it's really just all these little obstacles like this along the trail that just make this trail amazing.
next leg of Valley of the Moons takes you up to Elliot's Mine. And while the trail is pretty easy going, it is a little narrow and steep and you gotta work your way up the switchback. And at the top there's a little bit of an obstacle, but man, when you get to the top the views are breathtaking. You can see for miles and miles. get into Elliot's mine you got to climb down a little bit and the entrance is really narrow but you know what when you get inside there it opens up a little bit as long as you lean over you won't bump your head there's some pretty cool caverns in there worth exploring Now when you hit the end of the route sign, do not think that this is the end of the trail. In fact, this is the best part of Valley of the Moons and some people just don't find it. You gotta find this little gatekeeper, crawl over it and head on the granite rocks for a while and man you will not be disappointed. finally reach the bottom of the valley you can see why they call it Valley of the Moons it's just so surreal with all the big boulders everywhere you feel like you're really on a different planet our only casualty of our run was just a bent sway bar link but nothing that prevented us from making it home hey if you have never been to this trail and you're in Southern California Valley of the Moons is a must-do trail and if you're visiting the channel for the first time, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Until next time, we hope to see you out on the trail.